These are the words of one of the most prolific mathematicians of all time. The man who spent most of his life giving away everything he ever owned and spent his entire life carrying a suitcase with a bunch of mathematical papers. The man who had significant contributions to different disciplines and areas of mathematics. Arguably the strangest character in the discipline. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Hungarian mathematician Paul Erdős and why he was one of the strangest of all. Erdős had significant contributions to discrete mathematics, graph theory, number theory, mathematical analysis, approximation theory, set theory and probability theory. The genius wrote over 1500 papers and worked with over 200 mathematicians. He had around 500 collaborators throughout his entire life. He was always in a constant state of doing what he does best mathematics. As brilliant as he was in doing math, his personality and the way he lived his life was quite strange. Erdis once stated, the man doesn't require things more than his basic needs. He owned little to no materialistic belongings except an old suitcase with papers and pens which he would carry around wherever he would go. Both of his parents were teachers of mathematics, which explains why he developed an early interest in the field. Erdős had no home, no wife and no children. He traveled from university to university, country to country, exploring mathematical minds and mathematical problems. He received many rewards during his journey for his contributions. He would give off most of his prizes and awards to those who would solve complex math problems. He was particularly fascinated by math problems and would often organize small math competitions. Author Mason Curry explains in his book that Erdős used to spend nearly 19 hours a day doing math and he would often claim that he requires only 3 hours of sleep. While Erdős was a great mathematical problem solver, he wasn't as good with a simpler one. Up until he was a young adult, he lived with his mother and his mother did everything for him, like laundry, cooking and so on. There's an interesting story where Erdős goes to dinner with fellow mathematicians. He keeps staring at the bread and butter kept on the table and struggles to spread butter on the bread. It felt to him like climbing a mountain. With regards to organizing mathematical competitions and challenges, Erdős set the prize amount ranging from $5 to $15,000 as mentioned by writer Paul Hoffman in his book The Man Who Loved Only Numbers. This inspired thousands of students to pursue mathematics. Paul Erdős has been an inspiration for everyone who's been interested in the field of math in different areas of mathematics across the world. He loved formulating questions, finding questions and then working for hours uh, to find solutions to those questions. Paul Erdős is also credited for pioneering discrete mathematics, which is considered to be one of the foundations of modern computer science. Discrete mathematics is used widely in areas like computer programming and creating computer algorithms. Ironically though, Erdős himself was not much of a tech lover. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you want more such videos about physics, mathematics, theology and philosophy, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.